Okay, hey, what's up? So well, lately, <laughs> we've seen many articles. This is like kind of like a callback from what I was talking about earlier, right? So we see many articles about black people just being outraged about um, cultural appropriation. Like, oh, you know, Kim Kardashian, take those braids out. Un unpowder your lips. Like, take the butt down. Like, they're just like so. <laughs> they're just, the butt Think is about ours that. now. The butt <laughs> is ours, right? Yeah, so then, down. like, so they're just like so, you know, like mm. up in arms about culture. Culture appropriation is real, mom. Mm. Like, I have like a whole joke about that because my mm. daughter says that all the time. So, this mm. is my thing, right? Why do black people have selective outrage over culture appropriation when we are the ultimate? Appropriators, like think about what we do, and I know y'all gonna think I'm coming for your edges because I'm about to talk about weaves, but y'all got weaves. I, I ain't got no weaves. <laughs> okay, so wig, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so and then, but then me, right? Cosmetics, right? We mm -hmm. even even gels. We trying to like soften up all the things that are that are inherently mm -hmm. ours, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So we're doing the same thing, right? We're we're doing the same. I thing. think it's different. I think it's different because. You know, again, going back to being a minority in a in a country that for years told you that you were not good enough, that you know the the width of your nose was too big, that your hair was too kinky, that your body wasn't right. right. I think we grew up having to maneuver that, and so we we took on those trappings of white culture okay. to fit in better. Okay, okay. So I think that's very different. So, but from now we the, got it, right? So no, now we don't. We really no, don't. We don't. No, we don't. No, we got we really it enough don't. to no. say. We got it enough to say you're appropriating mm. my culture. No. You got it enough to say that you're. So but now you we know, know that it would have been blamed, brainwashed. Funny, but listen to this. Okay. It's very funny that uh, a Kim Kardashian will be celebrated for her body type in a cornrows much more than we doing the exact same thing. But guess who's celebrating her? Even think about this. We're supporting them and and other people and other people as well if we're wearing our cornrows and and we go to work or something or we wear our natural hair there have been plenty of stories where we've reported on where people are like oh your hair is not professional yeah. or take a kid out of school because your, your cornrows are not two states past professional or like two dreadlocks yeah, are professional I'm sorry, I didn't mean to so that you know we you. you know they will more quickly like a white person will more quickly get um, accepted for that, then we will. Because they, they, they seem states. like they're... Okay, sorry. There are two yeah. states that passed legislation banning discrimination against natural hairstyles. Right. California was the first, New York was the second. So that means there was enough incidents where people were having issues because of their hair, because they chose to wear a more natural hairstyle, right. one that's more like an African but descent. Now, but now it's more accepting. For us, we're accepting it more, so 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 the numbers are increasing. So mm -hmm. all of us, you, you, if everybody have the damn afro, then it just is what it is, right? But when you think about who has a lot of decision-making power, it's not African Americans. Right. When you go for mm -hmm. job interviews, mm -hmm. chances are you're sitting in front of a non-minority. You're mm -hmm. sitting in right. front of a white male, of a white woman, and they have the decision-making power. So if I go in right. with my with dreadlocks or braids, cornrows, whatever, an afro, uh -huh, we get it. I'm looking at them, mm -hmm. and they may be like, mm, I don't like that look. That's not appropriate. Right. When there's that, right. there's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing, right. or uh, how I wear my hair. But the decision maker doesn't like it, so therefore, I lose out on an opportunity. Right. So, so I think not. sometimes right. for mm -hmm. us appropriation is a means of survival. It's a right. means of exactly. surviving and advancing in life. So, so whether so it's your hair or living in a certain neighborhood, because unfortunately, a lot of resources are pumped into neighborhoods where black and minorities are not- Are not there. Are exactly. not predominant. Right. So for, right. for myself, if I had a child, the better school system might be in that white yeah, neighborhood. My, so mine, I'm gonna, I did the same thing right. with my so, children. They went to school, see? but they didn't. But because if they went to school in East New York, like uh, hello, like right, yeah, because you wanted to give your children your children better opportunities. So that means you had to get them into a school that didn't with a lot of right, people that didn't test, look like them. You had to test them, and then you had to right. come, not even bust them. You had to transport them someplace far. I get it, but those dollars can totally be spent. Our dollars can be spent with black businesses to build that up so so eventually when you're sitting across from the interviewer they look more like you you mm -hmm. understand so well, what happens is, yes. right but, yes. but, but what happens we still buy not black we still need to have the latest Gucci, Finney, but all those companies not me. are I not black women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're really quick to say and then we're really quick to say what we can't afford 
Like, it's like, that's the thing in our culture. We're poor. Oh, like, that's the thing. If, if you, we don't embrace wealth and power and success, we're like, oh, I don't have that. that I, don't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like so accepting for us to feel like that. No. But just no. because I can't afford Gucci or Fendi, doesn't mean that I can't, and I can't or I won't support a black business. The Where I get my nails done, it's a black owned business. But they have so, black couture, like high end right. fashion. I can't afford that either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> black, white, we Asian, 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 I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, honey. Just because you got a little edges, now you want to brand new. I am. Let me tell you, I'm not even hardly speaking to people. I'm like, you see how she coming from my action map? Let me just pat You good? You good? You good? You good?